Hi guys. I don't know what happened. It just ended in the middle of it. I just wanted to finish a couple things um, for day 10 that we're on. Somebody yesterday recommended that I use, um, oh, what's it called? Palo Santo. And it's one, Palo Santo is an oil that I have loved for a really long time. Um, I love the aroma of it. It's got a, uh, I don't even know, like a yummy, mm, I don't even know, but it's Palo Santo. And they said that Jen O'Sullivan had said that it's one that helps with some of the emotional stuff that I had going on. So I went ahead and I grabbed it. Actually, I had somebody else grab it. I'm like, somebody said Palo Santo would work. Grab the Palo Santo. And I'm shocked at how much of a difference that made in my mood. So that's exciting. And I don't know, I guess I really didn't have to pop back on. I just want, I knew you guys were going to ask a bunch of questions. Like, where to go? Where to go? So, uh, I don't know. I know you guys, feeling good, doing great, loving, 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 doing the fast, loving, sticking to my word, um, feeling really good. Like I said, I got to go out and walk on the beach today, are you kidding? In the heat, everything went fine, so I love it. It's Palo Santo, P-A-L-O-S-A-N-T-O, -S Palo Santo. It's backwards, you can't even see it anyways. But it's a delicious one. It's in there. Um, the other thing that I started doing last night, because I have been praying through this whole thing. You know, I tell you guys all the time, I am a Christian. I believe the Word of God from the front page all the way to the last page. Every, everything in between. That seven days of creation, hook, line, and sinker. I believe it 100%. And um, it really has been through prayers and through spending time in the Word that I really got that this is something that I had to do for me, that 40 days. And so a lot of people have said, why are you doing 40 days? Why are you doing 40 days? I gotta tell you, I, I really don't know the number itself. I don't know um, why that sat in my head, but the different studies that I've been reading on resetting your stem cells, because your body regenerates stem cells when it's in a fasted state. And some of those studies are showing that in as little as 36 hours, your body is starting to regenerate um, stem cells, which is huge. It's finding mistakes and it's going in and it's repairing and it's doing it. And we are supposed to be in a fasted state for a few hours every single day. So say you stop eating at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, and then you don't eat until breakfast at 6, you've got 11 to 12 hours where there's no food going in, and your body after four to six hours goes into a fasted state. So it's used everything in your digestive system, and it switches over and it starts cleaning and fixing and repairing. It's supposed to happen, but we usually, because people nibble all night long and we don't get into that point, we don't do that. So I decided with conscious choice um, a couple years ago, maybe not even that long ago, to start doing the one and two day fast. And I felt really good. I felt very empowered when I was doing it. And um, then we did some three day fast and I got all the way to five day fast. And um, the more studies that came out, the more things that I seen, the more I really felt that I needed to step out and do a longer fast and it really is just water um, in addition to water i drink some sleek tea um, green tea helps with your body's metabolism but it also green tea if you look up the different things that green tea does for your overall body there's lots of amazing things and our sleek tea has the oolong sleek tea it also has okatea leaves in there so you can google what okatea leaves are so that's not the essential oil it's actually okatea leaves that are in there in addition it's got that good amazing healthy chocolate that's in there which is which has the antioxidants and it gives a great flavor it also has frankincense resin in there so that means every time you're drinking that tea you're getting that frankincense that we really it does amazing things in the body so take your sleek tea and like what I like to do is I will brew my cup of sleek tea so I, I have my water it boils and then after I let it cool for about 90 seconds about two minutes I'll put my tea bag in there and the reason why I let it wait a little bit is I don't want anything to die off because the water is still too hot so I want it to steep and I let it steep for about five minutes but then I take a spoon and I really smoosh it around the bag I take the bag and I smoosh it into the bag and the reason why is I want to release the chocolate I want that to actually get into my cup and I want to release that frankincense resin so it gets into the cup so then when I'm drinking my sleek tea 
I'm absorbing all that resin. Now when I'm water fasting, I drink that tea just that way. When I am um, keto or consuming food, then what I will do is I will take and I will add MCT oil and I can add some good healthy butter to that, some raw butter, and I like jade lemon in there, a little bit of cinnamon, and I will whip it up and it becomes this frothy, delicious drink that um, will help with your overall blood sugars, keeping them nice and healthy like they're supposed to. They help to keep you full. They help clean up your digestive system. And it doesn't cost anything like going to like one of the coffee shops. Uh, but it's delicious and amazing. And it can replace my breakfast. That MCT oil has around 140 calories. You got the same thing in your butter. So it's a great jump start for the day with the good brain fats, good heart fats. And then what I will do with my bags, and this is important, I tell people don't throw away the gold. So I have my tea bag that I made hot tea with. And I'll usually do that two times. So I'll make two cups out of each single bag. But then I will take a handful of the bags and I will make iced tea. So, excuse me, out of those same bags, I will brew it and then I do the same thing. I massage the bags, I squish them. I want that frankincense resin, that chocolate to get into my um, the tea when I'm drinking it. And then I still do, I go another step. I take those bags and I break them up and you can open them and put them in smoothies. So those ice creams and things I make, I'll throw some of my uh, sleek tea in there. So it's got the actual, cause that oolong green tea, do some research. This is good, healthy, yummy stuff that our body needs and is desperate. So I don't to throw that away it's got that resin in there I want that in there Okatea leaves Akatea whatever you want to call it it's in there and same thing you can throw that in with your pets food mix it around there's so many good things you can do with it and I really feel that the sleek slim cap citrus slim rather and the sleek tea uh, doing my different supplements it's part of the reason why I've done so well as far as not feeling hungry I don't feel hungry I don't feel out of control when I added the total calories of all these little supplements because you know one supplement has three calories one has five and adding all of them together I'm under 70 calories total with all of the supplements throughout the day so I'm totally comfortable with those numbers I know for purist if you're a purist water faster out there you probably are saying, Jan, that's not a water fast, it's not a water fast, and that's okay. When you do yours, you do you. I'm telling you what I've done for me that's helped me to continue to be successful. I also take my sleek, uh, not sleek, my essential zymes four. I take those four times a day, both tablets four times a day. And again, I want it to digest all that undigested stuff I've got going on throughout my body. I want to give it a store of enzymes. Did you know that your body stores enzymes so that it can use it? I want to get that store while I can. So, all right, guys, that's about it for today. I will be on the 1090 page. Um, yes, I am doing Neen Charad, uh, but I do it, um, I mix a 32 ounce mason jar. I was checking to see if I've got one open. Um, a 32 ounce mason jar, and in that I put two ounces of my Neen Charad. I put um, mineral essence. What else do I put in there? Mineral essence, Neen Charad. Oh my goodness, mind wise, my nitro. Uh, some different oils, vitality oils that I take, and I mix that all in there with the water, and I shake it up, and I sip, swish, and swallow, and I do that over about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours it takes to get that in, and then I do my water in between that, so. So, and the reason why I dilute it so much is there are some um, carbohydrates that are in there, and there's some sugars that are in there, so by diluting it that much, you barely taste that there's any sweetener, and I'm a little bit afraid if it tastes yummy, it's going to trigger wanting to eat. So the Ninja Popsicles, I love Ninja Popsicles. They are a favorite of ours, but I'm not doing those right now because if I did them straight, I think it's going to have me wanting, um, giving me those cravings to eat. It's going to stimulate more hunger than what I think I can handle right now. Because right now, I truly, honestly, have zero hungry, hunger. I have not really had hunger um, since... My, my, my second and third day, I had some hunger going on. My fourth day was really hungry. Um, that's the day that I said I was kind of um, mean to people because I was so hungry. I was very cranky. I had a hard time controlling myself. And I was, I was, I was downright mean. I was not a nice person. I had to apologize to my family for it. That was on day four. But pretty much I haven't had much hunger. Like you'll be doing something like, oh, I'm hungry. But you get distracted and it goes away super quick. It has been more of a mental, I want to eat something. I want to eat something. I need to eat something. I should be eating something. Why am I not eating something? What did I do wrong? Why? And I'm punishing myself for nothing. And 
that's been more of what's been going on for me. Um, and that was really yesterday that it was so bad. And it was really weird because it truly was the whole day long. We did different stuff to help, but I was that way. And I woke up this morning, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, ready to go, happy, content, life is good, I'm so blessed, can't believe I did it 10 days, woo-woo, party, party. That's kind of how it went down for today. So I don't know the ups and downs. Uh, like I said, with my prayers, we have been adding um, the feelings kit. I started that last night. Uh, I don't know, maybe all those different emotional connections we were talking about with food, maybe that's a part of that cycle for me and it's something I've got to be able to release, let go of, move on, get over. You know, I always tell people, just suck it up, you'll be fine. So maybe I don't need to suck it up, I need to release it and let it go. Who knows? I don't know. All right, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. I will be on the 1090 page, which is our business page for Young Living. Um, we've got some challenges going on and I will be sharing that hardcore. So, all right, guys, popsicle. Oh, I don't know. How do you cook for your family? I don't. I am blessed and highly favored. Brian, my beautiful, amazing husband of almost 30 years, is doing the water fast with me. Um, and the only daughter that lives at home is 18 years old, and I have equipped her to be strong, healthy, and sufficient, and she can cook for herself. So I don't have to do anything. And then she just decided today she's going to do a little bit of water fasting as well. So there's veggies in the fridge. There is um, keto. We have a whole bunch of keto meals that have been cooked ahead of time. I, I'm a prepper. So we have a lot about a lot of that out there so she can just throw stuff in the ovens if she wants to but you know what she's a big girl she is 18 years old she's a senior and uh, she'll be in college next year gonna be having to fend for herself so this year right now she's stepping out there and doing some of it on her own she'll be fine so with your family they really will <coughs> and here's the thing if you decide that you're going to do a fast there's going to be temptations constantly so whether you're having to cook for your children or, or you're cooking for your spouse or there's other people in the house cooking or you're at work and you smell it or there's a commercial on the TV and you see it or if all of our senses are inundated with it. Like seriously, Facebook? Facebook is a horrible place to be when you are fasting because all of the different videos and the posts and the pictures of all the different recipes, it's nonstop. So if you're going to let an excuse like the smell of food or having to cook food get in the way, then any excuse will do. You'll find an excuse to do it. You'll find an excuse to not do it. And for right now, I'm just choosing the reason to just get her done. All right, guys, I will be on 1090 later with the challenge. We have got a Growing to Diamond challenge, and it is open to everybody in Young Living, no matter whose team you're on. It's going to be good. I'll be on there probably in the next half hour or so getting some stuff done. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.